Yeah, morning, Rufy. What's up, buddy? I'm going diving. Today's new wetsuit day. Uh, I shot off uh, diving sports, just hooked up this Epsilon Fusion 7mm. The water's dropping. Last suit I have, the uh, Cressy, I've had it for two years now. It's going solid, but time for a new one. This is made from Yamamoto. Let you know how I like it when I'm out of the water. Cold diving today, but we geared up ahead of time. Saved yourself a bit of grief. We won't have to change cold in the parking lot. And hopefully we'll have a bit more time in the water. What's up, man? What's up, how's it going? Yo, good. Beautiful morning, but it is cold, as expected. Thanks, Moncoon, for paying for the parking. It's 12 bucks here. Gonna swim over to the breakwater, look around for some lingcod and some Dungeness. My wife wants some crab, and she let me get out today, so that's fair. Bought this float in 2019, and I've only used it a handful of times. I will say, it does make the long distance swims much easier. I was also able to keep my body out of the water for the swim over, which was another advantage. I generally don't like diving with a float, but for this spot, it's a no-brainer, especially in the spring and summer with all the boat traffic in the area. The Epsilon Fusion kept me warm and comfortable, but man, was ever buoyant. I thought my weight belt had fallen off on the swim over. This was a shallow spot too, so it made diving extremely challenging. Despite the struggle, I was still able to enjoy myself and hang out with some lingcod. We found this guy in only 3.4 meters of water. Just a reminder, lingcod populations were decimated around the lower mainland and have been off limits since the 90s. Don't be a poacher, learn the regs, and let this diamond in the rough continue to flourish. When I approached the southern tip of the breakwater, I spotted a baby seal pup with its mom. Although it appears I'm swimming towards the seal, I'm actually just zooming into the clip. Don't harass wildlife. It's been almost two years since I've dove this spot, and I'm happy to see my buddy still hanging out in the same spot. I see this link card every time I come here. When most people were at home just waking up, we were out in the cold Pacific diving a place only a handful of humans have laid eyes on, and I wouldn't have it any other way. This link card was a lurker. They'll be laying egg masses pretty soon. And all these guys will be trying to feed on them. This great scalping is blind in one eye. You must be getting up there. From what I've researched, they can live to an impressive 16 years of age. They're probably one of the ugliest fishes in our ocean, but it works to their advantage. Their camouflage is next level. We didn't have great success on the crabbing front, but we didn't get skunked. Moncun found one right on the money, 6.5 inches. On the way back in, I found another great scalping. Such a crazy fish. Moncun graciously offered up the crab, and I took him up on the offer. My wife was stoked. Thanks, dude. Thanks yeah. a lot. I appreciate that. All right, sir. Cool. Thanks, buddy. It looks, looks smaller, but uh, yeah, Vice yeah. Lego, Vice Lego, yeah. Yeah, no, right on the money, six and a half. Sweet. Thanks a lot, bro. Thanks for watching, everybody. Peace and love.